Jared Rose for the Thomas Pekin and NOLA.com over at UHI again with Lindsey Flory again, our all Baton Rouge area small schools, volleyball player of the year again. <laughs> um, senior year, y'all y'all get back to the state tournament, have another nice year, um, end up falling in the semifinals yeah. again. Just what, I mean, what are your what are your thoughts on on the whole picture of it now with a couple of weeks to allow it to all kind of sink in? Um, I think we definitely like accomplished a lot together as a team and our like bond with everybody was just like so beyond like what we could have hoped for we were just came together so much as a family and that made it really hard when we lost and we realized that the season was over for and we weren't going to be able to be a part of that team anymore and like play with those girls ever again but just like knowing we had their support and everything even though we lost and we lost to a great team i mean obviously they won yeah <laughs> but um just had a great game and I think everybody, every senior, every underclassman, junior, or whatever, uh, went out there and left everything on the court and played their hearts out and just did great. Yeah. Um, as far as obviously you I mean you came into the year, you were our preseason all area, small schools player of the year. Um, and so there were big expectations for you as as a leader on that team and, and different things that were expected of you. How did you feel about um, what you were able to do for the team through this year? Do you, I mean, do you feel like you, you kind of accomplished what you needed to for the most part? Um, did you exceed expectations in some spots? What are you going to kind of remember about your role this year overall? Um, I think, like, on the court, I did a good job, like keeping everybody like motivated and everything. I mean, I think we all did a good job of that. In the beginning of the year, it was kind of rocky. We all had such different personalities, like as seniors, and that kind of made it hard for everybody to learn to follow differently the different people and how to like interact with them. But um, I think we kind of smoothed it over in the beginning because we realized that if we had that problem throughout the season, it was just going to be a bad season, nobody yeah. was going to enjoy it, but um, I think once that got smoothed over and we just all, it made it really easy for like all the seniors to be okay with just like being yelled at, or not necessarily yelled at, <laughs> but like, you know, like encouraged on the court and everything, and it just made the atmosphere so much better, and I'm just glad I had a part in that, and so did every other person. Um, this, you know, as we said, this was your senior season, um, and I told all of y'all before the year, no crying in the preseason videos, but when you look at now finishing your high school career, and obviously there's still some, some club left and, and college volleyball for, for a few of y'all, um, what stands out about the, the, entire, the entirety of your U-high career, I guess? What are you going to remember most? How, how do you feel? starting to kind of look back a little bit at, at what you were able to accomplish through the years of volleyball here? Um, I don't think I'm going to remember the games. Mm -hmm. I'll remember, like, the bus rides and yeah. the team bonding, all the friends that I've made, and, like, basically, like, sisters. And I don't want to start crying. It's the only reason I <laughs> cried after saying. <laughs> but um, I just think, like, the experience of being with this group of girls and like being able to just go through the whole <laughs> season with them and still being like really good friends with them after and trying to maintain that like team like bond like after the season yeah. was over. It was like hard but then like you realize these are my closest friends in the school and it's just yeah, no, it's a lot. I like <laughs> um, for you moving forward. Obviously, you've still got uh, the rest of your senior year left um, over here, and there's, I mean, a lot of big things happen over here for, for folks to be excited about in, in all sports. Um, but looking forward now, um, you were still trying to figure out a lot of college things when we talked before the season. What's kind of your outlook on what your next step might be post graduation? Um, I have no idea still. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of wait until this club season and see what comes around and hopefully find a school that I think fits me. 
Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> there you go, Lindsey Flory over at UHI, getting a little emotional <laughs> as our um, all Baton Rouge area small schools volleyball player of the year. And for the Times Picunino.com, Jared Roser.